but I lived for 20 years in the United States before I came to Canada in 2005 at the age of 24. And yet, I came here because I felt I had to leave the US. Did I come to Canada as an immigrant or as a refugee? Technically, I came as an immigrant, but I do think of myself as a refugee of sorts because I felt I was fleeing. Growing up, I felt like an all-American girl, but when I had to leave that country, I was reminded that I had come from somewhere else. Looking back now, I see there were two nomas inside me when I was young, and sometimes they were at odds with each other. When I was at home or with the African communities, I was Zimbabwe and felt comfortable with that to a certain extent. We spoke our native language, Sinebele, at home, and my mom gave us language lessons for an hour a day for a long time. We are in Dabele heritage, an offshoot of Zulu. But then there was Noma, who went to school and was the all-American girl. But there were limitations there. My parents were strict. When I tried to talk back to them like some of my American-born friends did to their own parents, that did not fly, not at all. And then there was the first day of school each year, and any day a substitute teacher came. Those were the days the teachers would have to pronounce my full name, Nomaklawe. They could never do it. By third grade, I had perfected how to handle the situation. I would be sure to sit in the front, especially if we had a substitute and did not have assigned seating. I wanted to follow where the teacher was on the list. I would think, okay, I'm next. I come after Sarah Rector. Sure enough, as the teacher struggled to say my name, Nomakawi, Nomakawewi, I'd shout, it's Noma. Being different and from somewhere else has become cool only recently. It was not cool then. Kids can be cruel. Kids used to ask where I was from, and I would say, Zimbabwe, Africa. At the time, the only things could relate kids could relate to Africa was the Eddie Murphy movie, Coming to America. Kids would ask me if I was an African princess. And I can remember being a bit of a li liar. <laughs> and saying, oh yeah, totally. They would ask if I played with elephants and lions. But then the flip side was having kids say I was an African booty scratcher, or calling, hey, Kuta Kente, because the TV series Roots was popular then. So my identity depended on where I was. I used to say to myself, I am an American, I am an American, I am an American. I think my parents wanted that for us too, to fit in, 